Despite the lockdown because of the COVID-19 coronavirus, people were still able to remember and honor the victims of the 1994 genocide perpetrated against Tutsis. Because of the pandemic, all we could do was follow programs on the radio, but the commemoration period went well nevertheless. We understood the message and appreciated how everything was organized. As youth, we were given much attention and many of the discussions were for our benefit because many young people today were born only recently and do not yet fully understand the seriousness of genocide. However, the more people talk to us, the more we understand and appreciate the seriousness of what happened. I intend to help other young people, talking to anyone who may not fully understand because I know the truth. Genocide survivors have also been supporting each other through this difficult time. Support efforts continued and we have different ways of helping each other, using social media to exchange information and encourage each other, talking until we all feel better. No one suffered alone or regressed during this period. Officials at the National Commission for the Fight Against Genocide agree that the lockdown did make things difficult during the commemoration week, but it did not stop programs from being organized and broadcast. It required us to quickly come up with strategies of how to go about it and talk to the different relative authorities and in the end things went as we had hoped they would. The commemoration week was officially began at the Kigali Memorial Center. Jisozi, by His Excellency the President of the Republic and other officials were also present, but the numbers were very few and I think you noticed that. Programs were then broadcast via TV, radio and even online. And that happened every day from the 7th to the 13th, which is today. Every day there was at least one program airing. The programs have been noted to have been quite beneficial for genocide survivors. I believe this 26th commemoration went well, even though people had to stay at home. We believe it was very productive and we saw this as... People started calling in, telling us how their children were asking them questions they did not have answers for and were requesting assistance. They were concerned about talking to 12 and 15 year olds about what happened and it showed us that things were getting done. Discussions on the final day of the commemoration week focused on the role of politicians during the genocide against Tutsis and what they must now do to fight genocidal ideologies. They decided to form modern political parties that truly serve the people, leaving behind old norms like Parmehutu, Lunar and others that bring bad thoughts so that we can introduce new parties. The genocide in every aspect of it is the fruit of bad politics. What happened in our country started in the minds of politicians and they in turn put it among people. Those are genocidal ideologies and the people who deny it have their own reasons, but it is clear for all to see. Therefore, we have an obligation towards younger generations and the Senate is in charge of ensuring that political parties follow these fundamental principles and if necessary, they can face punitive measures. During the commemoration week, each day was highlighted with the scale of atrocities in different areas examined, which the general public found to be both informative and beneficial, and the National Commission for the Fight Against Genocide has said this will continue to be done.